just the town council in my town. All right. So raise your hand if you've always been 100% happy with how your work facilities in the past and uh, in, the, in the present as well have been run. Raise your hand if you felt the need to update your work facility for the better. Keep your hand raised if you've been successful in doing so. Um, I have been working at Emory Park for the past three years, and as you all know, Emory Park is the cement bottom natural spring-fed pool in town, and it's run by the Park and Rec Department, and the director was Leslie Ferris, and she's been running it for about 10 to 15 years, and because she's had such longevity, she's a little reluctant to make the necessary changes to update the facility. Um, and while my time at Emory has been enjoyable, I believe that we can make a few key changes to make the facility more profitable and more and safer for patrons. For the past few summers, I've come into work around 11 o'clock in the morning, and there are kids hanging on the fence waiting for the lifeguards to set up um, everything, and that kind of makes us rush to get everything set up, and that's bad because we could forget a vital piece of equipment, like the backboard, for example, and if we had an emergency or somebody was drowning, that could be really detrimental and it could be liable. Um, and then the kids that are there early want to swim for a few hours before going home for lunch, and opening at 11 makes that difficult for them because these younger kids tend to eat earlier in the afternoon than we do, and so opening later makes that difficult for them to have enough time to swim. Um, and then we also have to wait until 7 p.m. to close the park at night, which is an issue because a lot of the families go home for dinner around 5 or 6 p.m., and then we're stuck with an hour or two not really doing anything, um, and it's unfortunate for the town because they pay us to basically play cards or read, and um, it's also unfortunate for us because we could be more productive with our time, either <coughs> taking a summer class or you know, having a second job or just spending time with our families. Um, right now, we're currently open from 11 to 7 during the week as well as on the weekends, and a lot of families go away on the weekends for um, family vacations, and so the traffic on weekends is much slower than it is during the week. Um, I've often gone entire weekends without having one or two patrons, um, which is, and I often joke with my parents that um, I get paid to tan and read on the weekends because I don't have to watch anybody in the pool. Um, and I think we should close the park on the weekends because paying lifeguards to be on duty wastes thousands of taxpayer dollars each summer, and this money could be much better spent on repairs to Emory Park. Um, for example, the tiles in the patio on the, in the deep end are broken in many places, and I know I've stepped on them, a bunch of the kids have stepped on them, and they're really sharp and they really hurt. And the tiles also get very hot in the baking sun all day, and kids are hopping from foot to foot trying not to get the <coughs> bottoms of their feet burned. Um, and they also, the, after a few minutes of the kids jumping in and out of the water, um, water gets splashed and cools down the tiles, which is good, but it's also bad because the um, tiles get very slippery when they're wet, and I know I've slipped, I've seen numerous kids slip and fall, and thankfully nobody has been severely injured from stepping on hot or broken tiles or slipping and falling, but it's only a matter of time. On another note, many families have their own pools now, um, or know people that do, and because of this, Emory Park has dropped in popularity in the past 15 years. Um, when I was in elementary school, everybody came to the park to swim and picnic and hang out, and nobody really seemed to mind the fact that the pool is filled with natural water or that there's various species of wildlife in the pool. Um, now, however, that outlook has changed a little bit and patrons seem to prefer chlorinated pools and parents are a little worried about their children's safety slip swimming with snapping turtles, which is definitely understandable. Um, and the natural murky water is a potential safety hazard because we as lifeguards can't see the bottom of the pool 
so we couldn't, we wouldn't be able to see somebody slip under. Um, and a lot of lifeguards now are actually being told not to take jobs at facilities where they can't see the bottom of the pool just for that reason. Um, so no, not only is the natural water disliked by the patrons, it's also um, dangerous for them, and it is also turning potential employees away. So I propose that we raise money over the next five years to convert Emory Park from natural water to chlorinated water. And it might be expensive, but the cost will be offset by the fact that the pool is already in place and we won't need to do any digging or cementing. And the real expense is going to come with cleaning out the pool of all the animals and the muck at the bottom of the pool and buying the chemicals. Uh, I believe that coordinating the water at Emory Park will attract more customers and make the town more money down the road. The hours need to be changed from 11 to 7 to 10 to 6, and we should also be closed on the weekends. Uh, this will benefit the patrons, the employees, and the town. It will cost the town less money and allow for the much needed repairs to the patio and provide for changing the pool, provide funding for changing the pool to chlorine. Please vote to make these changes to Emory Park and help me change my work environment for the better. I cannot do it without you.